So it's really the, the proof of the pudding, you could say, the best pudding ever. But I'm sitting here feeling very uncomfortable, <laughs> very anxious, nervous, uh, just want to run away, really, and knowing at the same time that I can relax and that all is well that I no longer have to follow all the data that's coming up, all the, the, the thoughts, the emotions, the sensations, and the experiences, that I no longer need to hold on to them or, 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 or follow them um, in order to find well-being. So all the, all the data, what we term as data, in, uh, in balanced view, all the thoughts, the emotions, the sensations and experiences. Now data, they are countless and they are ceaseless and they are unpredictable. We never know what's going to come up next. We just never know. And um, in balanced view, we are guided and empowered and supported to rest completely. Just to rest as we are and to allow everything to be as it is. To recognize our true well-being, our ultimate well-being. Recognize open intelligence, which is our fundamental identity. This complete ease of being that is unwavering, indestructible, always on, always present, complete well-being. And to recognize open intelligence, we can simply stop thinking for a moment, just for a brief moment. Allow that train of thought just to be as it is without indulging, avoiding or replacing, allowing everything to be as it is. And when we stop thinking and we don't describe what's coming up, right there, in that very moment, we recognize this openness, this ease. There's something about us that is completely stable, completely okay, regardless of what's coming up. That power to know that we're sitting in our chairs that we can hear my voice. That simple power to know is open intelligence. And that is always on, whether we're thinking or not thinking. It is what fuels the next thought, the next emotion, the next sensation. So data and open intelligence are completely inseparable like the color blue in, sky, in, in the sky, completely inseparable. Or like the breeze and air, we just can't separate them. They are just... The, the, the breeze is like the dynamic energy of the air, and data are like the dynamic energy of open intelligence. When we take short moments, which is the simple practice here, to rest body and mind and not describe for a brief moment. And we take short moments repeatedly. We just start to recognize the stability, this ease that is always on. We start to recognize that we can completely relax, that we have that choice in every moment to either follow that, that datum, you know, of feeling uncomfortable and we want to run, run out of this room or to relax and see what happens when we allow it to be as it is. You know, does the sky come crashing down? What actually happens when we allow everything to be as it is? In, in my experience, it's ab absolutely incredible. You know, because I can have all this data raging about feeling uncomfortable, not knowing what to say, uh, all of it, you know, anxious. Um, and at the same time, completely relax 
and see that all is well. That I have that powerful choice to take responsibility for, for the data that's coming up and to, to choose open intelligence. Recognizing that it's just this dynamic energy. You know, even that idea that it is completely unbearable, that is simply the, the, the beneficial potency. No matter the description or the label, everything is this beneficial energy. Wanting to be of benefit to ourselves and others thinking that if we do run away, we're being of benefit, we follow that datum. We just want to be of benefit. But when we completely relax, that is the ultimate benefit, immediate benefit. Because we see that we have mastery over our data, taking that full responsibility, just one moment at a time, resting for short moments, repeatedly until it becomes continuous and obvious in our own experience. Such a gentleness in this practice. We no longer need to be hard on ourselves. We just take it moment by moment. And we see, you know, what do we want? This is our choice. What do we want in life? Do we want to live a more relaxed, easeful, empowered stable life or, or do we want to keep going down that up and down that roller coaster which is what I used to do go up and down and up and down and every time I would go and visit family or, or, or certain friends I felt like that all my buttons were being pushed and whoops then we go down then we go home and we see some other people and do other things and whoops there we go up and then it's just like this and our happiness and well-being is based on all these ups. We want more ups. <laughs> we don't want to go down. But what I see is that everything is open intelligence. The ups and the downs is all the, the dynamic energy of open intelligence. Just this beneficial flow. Flow of benefit. That's all it is. And also thinking that, wow, if I'm feeling all of this, who else in the world is, is feeling that? Am, am I the only one? If it's just this beneficial energy and it's not, it's not me that chooses to have the certain data, I can't control my data. If I could, I would have a completely different set of data. <laughs> you know, I don't choose to feel the way I'm feeling. But I, what I do choose is to relax moment by moment. And, and there I can I just feel everything for myself and, and for everyone. You know, feeling that potent energy and feeling that I, I can really choose to be a victim to that description or simply relax, empower myself with short moments. And, and really be an example to, to others that we no longer need to be a victim to what comes up. But we can completely empower ourselves by allowing it to be as it is and touching into that ultimate well-being. Regardless of the description, there's complete ease, complete openness, responsiveness to the moment, what will be of most benefit right now? What do I want? And so if I want to be within community, then bring some friends and read the books together. I wanted community in, in South Africa, so what did I do? I went out and I started building community. You know, we want to be around people that are relying on open intelligence. We want to be around the mainstays, which is the, the community, you know, people relying on open intelligence, seeing that they can live a very empowered life, live together, create together, innovate, and really be of benefit to ourselves and others, really share our strengths, gifts, and talents, and, and just uh, 
live to our, our highest capacity, you know, really being optimal human beings, seeing that we are here to be of benefit to ourselves and others, and being so supported by the training, by the media online, the open meetings, the talks, writing out the texts, joining book meetings, clarity calls, meeting the community, the global community. Um, so that's the other mainstay, the training. And then the trainer, you know, if we have a trainer, once we've done the, the foundation training, which is the, the 12 empowerments, uh, then really building that relationship with our trainer. You know, the, the trainer, the relationship with the trainer is really the, um, the blueprint or such a powerful example and role model for all our relationships in our life just being more and more open-hearted, respectful, this respectful relating to ourselves and others, recognizing ourselves as open intelligence and, and everybody else. You know, a trainer is just there to uh, exemplify open intelligence and that, that, that's who we are. The trainer is open <coughs> intelligence. We're open intelligence and we're opening up to discovering that incredible relationship with open intelligence you know having the support with uh, um, from someone who's gone before and has utilized the four mainstays and has completely empowered themselves and see how they can fully support themselves and how their life has just shifted you know to yeah just for my life I mean completely wondrous really wondrous, unimaginably wondrous. I never knew it could be so great, even if I feel everything really intensely at times. I'm still amazed that I can do so many things and allow all the data to be as it is and see that I'm not limited by how I'm feeling or what the, de what the thoughts are, the emotions and sensations, I'm not limited at all. I just carry on one moment at a time short moments, the fourth mainstay. And even if we don't have a trainer right now coming to open meetings and asking questions and being on the clarity calls, asking questions, touching in with a, with a trainer, you know, asking questions for ourselves and others, because we all have the same or similar questions. We've all, we all experience everything in our lives. So it just clarifies and normalizes all data that comes up. You know, there's, there's just no taboo. There's nothing wrong. No datum is wrong. Every single datum that, that arises, arises from open intelligence, from this natural perfection, the basic state of natural perfection. It abides, it may hang around for a while, and then it self-releases. Everything occurring in open intelligence. Nothing is left out. So even the data we feel is so wrong or sh we shouldn't be having, that is the, the perfect opportunity to relax. Short moments of complete relaxation. Sitting comfortably in our chair, supported by the four mainstays, all four mainstays all four mainstays, the whole package. One mainstay is like one leg of a chair, very wobbly, very wobbly. <laughs> you can barely sit. Can you imagine ba balancing on one leg? I mean, and then two, still a bit wobbly. And three, well, there's still something missing, isn't there? There's still that. But four, wow, sit comfortably in this like lazy boy, you know, <laughs> and just supported by the four mainstays, empowered in every area of your life, no matter what you want to do. You're so, um, so supported, empowered to be the best that you can be, to shine yeah, so brightly, to shine. A trainer is only there to empower you. A trainer sees sees your power and wants you to see it. 
you know, wants you to tap into your innate wisdom and clarity, your innate mental and emotional stability. And you can always touch in with your trainer, be it once a week or joining calls or opening that relationship moment by moment, step by step. It's so beautiful. I mean, the relationship with my trainer is just completely exquisite. It's this heart devotion to, to wanting to um, serve her open intelligence and the four mainstays. Serve her open intelligence and the four mainstays simply by allowing all my data to be as it is. Devotion to outshining all data for the benefit of all. Not limiting myself to my own little identity and, and story and little bubble, but really breaking everything wide open, blowing it all wide open. Because our examples are just so powerful. When we start to feel more comfortable with who we are, just as we are, no matter what is coming up, then that just allows everybody else to, to recognize their true well-being, their complete brilliance, and such power to be of benefit. Everyone, all beings, so it is really such a gift that we are introduced to open intelligence and we're training up together and so much fun. I mean, wow, you know, we just have the best time. <laughs>